In a previous video this week, I showed you a bit of submarine gameplay, and I talked a lot about how confident I felt and how little risk there was in playing aggressive in a submarine. And since I had such a miserable time playing the game the other day, I thought it'd be a fun experience for us to watch it together and experience the other side of submarine gameplay. So in this one, I'm in an Ohio, actually probably the best or one of the best battleships at tier 10. The ship is just incredibly tough to take down. It's good at mid to long ranges, even at close range thanks to its decent secondaries and armor. And of course, we have a ton of overmatch. Uh, I happen to have HE loaded in this one for the start for some reason, but managed to get a fire. Sometimes Ohio can function a little like a Thunderer. Not quite though. But here we have our culprit, our submarine player. Ohio, of course, only has six kilometer anti-submarine warfare, or uh, it's not very good. It's just really, really bad. And it doesn't do a whole lot. There's gonna be a lot of points in this video where I get decent drops and I start getting hits on these subs and it just doesn't really lead to much damage. This one was not the best hit, but we'll see later on that there's some pretty decent hits coming in and the damage output is so low. It's shockingly low. And that's really the problem here is the damage output is so low on these new versions of submarines. They have a lot of confidence in playing very aggressive. So here, I'm trying to take the B cap. I'm in a reasonably good position here. And well, the submarine's not in the cap on the other side. So where could he be? Well, traditionally, I guess I would think a destroyer might go try and torp the Musashi, try and deal with the other DD around A. But this submarine is actually able to walk around behind this island and not be spotted four kilometers away from me and it torps me out. Fortunately, the damage output isn't enough to really kill me here, but it is certainly enough to force me forward and, well, make me reposition into a terrible position. This is often the problem, at least right now, for myself when it comes to submarines. I get myself into a position where I want to make a play, I want to play aggressive, but then a submarine enters a position which would be traditionally an escape route for myself, and then I'm out of luck, and I have to just charge in and hope for the best. So that's what we're gonna do here. Our secondary's certainly opening up on this submarine, but the damage output is pretty low even from these secondaries, so this submarine is really just able to sit there and tank these shells for an incredibly long time, and with the new torpedoes sent, I'm forced behind this island. And now there's really nothing I can do since he is no longer spotted. I think the ability to play this aggressive with the submarines is a bit of a problem. As a lot of you mentioned, thankfully, that know much more about uh, naval warfare and history than I do, submarines, as I've learned now, are traditionally more of a raider style of ship, something that would have gone after convoys, attacking supply routes, that kind of thing, from stealth. And if they did participate in a reasonably large size battle, they're probably just there for spotting. That's what I was uh, learning from the comments, so I really appreciate you guys uh, letting me know about that. So this tanky style of a submarine that is extremely active and aggressive in combat doesn't seem to fit history, but it's an arcade game, so it shouldn't really necessarily fit history. It should be fun, and that's the problem. This historical way of doing things for submarines has been changed into an unfun experience. And I think it's not very fun for either party since submarines are very boring in my opinion. And from what I've seen, a lot of you agree. And for the surface ship player, it's incredibly frustrating to deal with as you just don't know where they are and they'll be ping after ping after ping. And like here, I get caught bow in. I'm full health. I'm trying to play a little more aggressive. My team is starting to lose this game. And as soon as I turned in in this match, you'll notice over five minutes has passed. I was kited away. I was playing very passive to start. The instant I turned in bow in, a uh, submarine popped up and of course is able to launch a bunch of homing torpedoes on me. And I'm not going to pop my damage con since the new pings are just going to come the instant my damage con is down. So I just sat there and tanked it. And 
that was okay as long as I have teammates around. Fortunately, I had some pretty decent teammates in this one, and some of my destroyers actually forced the submarine away a little bit. And I managed to catch some broadsides and do okay. I actually do pretty good in this game, I would say. But it's still just this lack of counterplay, this lack of gameplay at all in between submarines and surface ships. It reminds me a lot of carriers, just that submarines don't contain that facade of gameplay and interaction like AA and Flak would be. We all know there's really no gameplay in AA since it's all automated. And for submarines, it really is non-existent, let's be honest. Only when a submarine is spotted like this do I have any form of interaction. And even then, I had two really good drops there, in my opinion. I think they were quite good drops. And I did, what, a thousand damage? <laughs> it's it's pretty sad. I, I struggle to understand why these are in the game in their current iteration. It seems like the feedback that has been received by Wargaming from the community has been completely ignored. And this is quite possibly the worst iteration of submarines yet. Uh, it, it's just ridiculous, frankly. And I don't know how to play against them. I've been really trying to brainstorm and think of different ways to play into this and still enjoy the game. It just doesn't seem to exist. I think the only thing I can do is run away. And if the only thing in the game I can possibly do is counterplay is to run away, I don't think that's great game design. Again, I'm not a game designer. I haven't gone to school for game design. I've never developed my own game, but I do know that in a PVP multiplayer experience, there should be some PVP, right? And this just isn't it. So I really hope Wargaming uh, makes some changes. Uh, as I think a lot of you have heard already, they've uh, pulled out of Russia and broken off completely with Lesta Studio, as, as it's called. That's their Russian main office they had. So we'll see what this new main developer is for the most of the world, for World of Warships. I don't really know what this changeover is going to look like. There really hasn't been a lot of information on it, but I'm sure you've heard about it. And if you haven't, well, that's about all the information we have out there right now. <laughs> so we'll see. I hope Wargaming will do a decent job with this changeover and hopefully have some good developers in mind to take over primary development of this game. And I hope those developers take a good hard look at the current iteration of submarines in this game and make some changes. I hope they listen to the community and I really, really, I really hope they do actually. I don't wanna to be too pessimistic, but it feels like to me, they couldn't do any worse, right? I'll just knock on wood real quick and uh, we'll move on. <laughs> At the end of this game here, we'll see that I did manage to take out that Worcester being a little too aggressive, but that did open up an opportunity for the Kaba to YOLO our Conqueror, who was doing a good job trying to get in and stall the middle cap out. But uh, at this point, it really is just YOLO time for myself, and this Holland should be just YOLOing in, but it's a little too late for that, I guess. And. Well, this Venezia offers himself up as a free kill, so we'll try and take him out. Into this late game, I really want to focus on the lack of counterplay from a gameplay perspective. I'm not going to talk too much about it anymore, but a destroyer pops up and he's dealing damage to me. Okay, that damage is incoming and I can see him. I know he's got torpedoes, so I need to slow down and turn in to avoid them. Those torpedoes aren't going to magically turn and focus in on me again. So there's some counterplay there. There's some gameplay that I can do here to deal with these torpedoes. And of course, the ship itself. I also know there's a gearing along that flank as well. So I'm going to have to watch out for more torpedoes from that flank. There's also a submarine though. But what do I do against a submarine that has torpedoes that can just home in on me? That's the real big issue here. And the other problem is the submarine can sit right next to me and I won't be able to spot him at periscope depth and certainly below water. Ships can be literally directly below my ship and I will not spot them. Submarines can be directly below my ship and I will not be spotting him. And again, it's this whole issue with overloaded damage controls. These pings are so powerful. These homing torpedoes are really, really, really strong and 
The only way I can remove the homing is to use my damage control, which has an 80 second cooldown. The pings have, what, a five second, seven second cooldown? It just seems a little bit too much. And now here, I'm stuck bow in to a submarine. I have no choice, I have to push in to try and win this game, but it's just kind of ridiculous to me that this submarine gets spotted at five and a half kilometers with a full battery on 2000 HP, 3000. So, I don't know. It just seems like this guy should have known to just sit at periscope depth, not on the water. I don't know. Do people just not know how to play these? Are we gonna see buffs to submarines? Because, well, the play, the gameplay of them is just not up to the standard of a normal tier 10 ship, since it's pretty easy to get submarines. Anybody with, I believe, a tier six ship can work their way up to a tier 10 submarine through the XP grind on those missions. I did have to slow down and dodge Kabatorps. That's what I was slowing down and turning in for. Unfortunately, I did eat another set of torpedoes from that same submarine, and we're actually going to flood out to them. So, yeah, pretty rough set of games, and uh, these ones actually happened back to back. So, I wasn't too happy with submarines in the moment, as you can probably imagine. But a day later, we can talk about it a little more freely, and I really just want to know what I'm supposed to do different here. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do other than run away. As you can see, the Shima Conqueror Division tried a lot. I tried, but we end up actually losing this one. And I took 60,000 damage from homing torps, which I really couldn't do much about unless I just ran away. And that would have guaranteed a loss in this scenario. Really, really, really unfortunate scenario here. You'll notice eight airstrikes only did 9,000 damage to those submarines not even half of one of their health. So really depth charges don't do a whole lot. What am I supposed to do here? I'm, I'm at a loss. I, I actually am at a loss here. I don't know what to do. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of how to deal with submarines. What are some things we can do as a community, as individual players to counterplay against these ships other than running away? I really am at a loss here. I don't know how to play these ships anymore against the submarines. Even carriers, there's a little bit of stuff I can do. I know I can at least turn into a lot of these things. The homing torps, it's just, I don't understand. I just don't understand. And uh, I'll leave it at that. For those of you wondering, next week should be a GNAN video and talking about the entire Pan-Asian line as I ground my way through it. Just having a really tough time getting any Pan-Asian uh, Jinan footage that is, you know, decent, entertaining, that kind of thing. But maybe that says more about the line than anything else, that it's really tough, even at tier 10, to get in range with some of those ships. But thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.